Alright lads, welcome back to another match review on my channel, Portugal versus Spain, some game it was, but before we get into this video, please, please do leave a like, if we can get 5 likes, that would be, that would be good, and also card up here if you haven't saw my video that I've already uploaded today, talking about Rangers news and World Cup news, so, into the game, and Portugal started the game off really positive, they came out, flooding players forward in the attack, and you know even just in the first two or three minutes they were on the front foot can get in Spain on the back foot and Spain weren't getting out of their own half Portugal kept on coming kept on just pounding them with attacks and eventually one came off one paid off as Ronaldo got the ball edge of the box step over by natural his Real Madrid teammate took him down in the box and penalty to Cristiano Ronaldo and Portugal Cristiano Ronaldo obviously the man to step up to the plate and puts it by David De Gea David De Gea tried his hard, hardest to you know talk to him before the penalty try and get into his mind but I don't think there's any entering of that man of that one man CR7's mind he was keen he was determined and he knew where he was going he put it confidently into the side netting and one now up to Portugal in the fourth minute and Portugal were playing well they hit Spain quite a few times on the counter attack but one Guedes, Guedes he did muck up a couple of times I mean I know he's young 21 22 something like that he messed up a few attacks which could easily have led to a goal one time it was a two on two he kind of threaded it through to Ronaldo but decided to go alone and Ramos got the block in and another time he Ronaldo cuts it back to him and he tried to get an R pass off at the edge of the box he should have just shot. So his experience definitely lacked and def definitely showed that he's inexperienced and he didn't know quite what to do. So yeah it's still one now to Portugal at this point. Spain they weren't playing poorly, they were just not really creating much. Iniesta on the ball was different class, he was picking out passes, some of the touches he made were amazing and yeah Spain eventually got a breakthrough, Sergio Busquets had it at the edge of the box, at the edge, edge of the box what am I talking about, had it in his own half, took it down, played it up to Diego Costa, Diego Costa won the header against Pepe, there was talks of whether he went in with the elbow or not but you see Pepe, he went down looking for the free kick, when he knew he didn't get the free kick he got up straight away can there's nothing wrong with him so Diego Costa just uh, Pepe embarrassed himself yet again how many times has Pepe embarrassed himself he's just he's he's a male he's he, he can, he's a good defender but he's embarrassing he would he would be so embarrassing so yeah Diego Costa getting the better of him and Pepe then he took the ball down and I'm not sh it might have been Fonte he went onto his right foot, cut back on his left, cut back on the right, and slotted it by Roo, Roy Patricio in the goal. And good finish by Diego Costa. Really, it was actually a really good goal by Diego Costa. Showed what he is worth. Now that was 1 1, and Spain were getting back into the game. Iniesta and Isco were playing, were playing brilliantly. Some of the passes, the touching, some of the passing Spain has throughout the whole game was just. Incredible to watch. They would keep on to the ball for a minute, 90 seconds, two minutes. Like, it was just something. They must have made about 50 passes in one play. Like, honestly, it was. It's, some would call it boring, but when they're playing at one one touch, tiki taka, it's not boring to watch. It's, it's an admirable king. But, yeah, so into the game again. The next big thing would have been when got played down the far side Iniesta was involved I'm not sure who cut it back but he got cut back Iniesta made his way back into the box and it cut, cut back to him had a shot with his left foot Diego Costa got the slightest of flicks onto it and it just went wide to the post unlucky there but then couldn't quite steer it towards goal and now it was, it was a pretty even game you know any team could have scored but it was Ronaldo to get his second of the game and put, Ren put Portugal 2-1 up so ball got played forward I think it might have been Guedes that took it down and controlled it 
and Ronaldo was offside at that point, but by the time Guedes gave Ronaldo the ball, Ronaldo came onside, had a shot from the edge of the box, and David De Gea, of all keepers in the World Cup, you would not think that he would do that. He's one of the best keepers in the world, but he done that, and, you know, straight to him, and he just kind of palmed it in his own neck, kind of Robert Green versus USA type thing. So, I mean, it was unlucky for him. You, can't, you can only feel for him because he doesn't make that mistake often. So 2-1 to Portugal, 2-1 to Ronaldo. And going into the break, Portugal are 2-1 up. So now, you know, it's, uh, Portugal came out in the second half looking as, as if they had uh, stopped with the offensive plays and went more defensive. The... Uh, Maybe as if they, they, their tactic was to stay back and annoy Spain, have them come on to them and then just not let them score, just annoy them, frustrate them. But that didn't work, it was only 10 minutes into the game, Iniesta won a free kick 25-30 yards out, David Silva whipped in the, chipped in the free kick back post, Sergio Busquets against Guedes, headed it down into the 6 yard box area and Diego Costa was there again to tap that one home and get his second of the match. Ronaldo 2 deal, Costa 2, and yeah, so it was the the battle of the hat-tricks, who's going to get the hat-trick first? But before that happened, Nacho Fernandez was going to redeem himself, gave the penalty away, but he'd he done something that Ronaldo would be proud of. Iniesta yet again involved with one turn at the, the, go, the, the byline, took two players out of the game, just a bit too heavy for his score in the box, but it came, got cleared out, came to Nacho Fernandez at the edge of the, edge of the box, and he hit it, he just cut across it so nicely, it just curved back in to that far post, hit the post, hit the other post and went in, it was a, hit it sweet as a nut, beautiful goal, and could possibly be one of the goals of the tournament, and one thing, as I'm saying that, I did forget to mention, he scored in the first half, had an amazing shot, smashed it through the corner of the box, and it hit the bar, bounced down, hit the line, and then it was Jordi Alba up there who missed it, but it didn't really matter because he was offside. But yeah, that, if Isco scored that one, that would have been that would, that would have been crazy. Similar to Van Bronckhorst against Uruguay in 2010, I think. Yeah, so that was some some shot, unlucky not to be a goal. Nacho Fernandez probably would have, will say something to Ronaldo if he have, hasn't already, because after Ronaldo scored the penalty, Ronaldo looked back at Nacho Fernandez. He kind of smiled at him as if like, I got you there mate, because okay, they're teammates at Real Madrid. So, 3-2 to Spain and Portugal were really poor in the second half. They did not actually create anything, you know, the first half hour of the, of the second half. They didn't create anything, they, they brought on Quaresma and João Mario, but they didn't really create anything with them too. Uh, Spain brought on uh, Thiago Al... Al What's his name? Alcantara? Alcan... No, I've forgotten his name. <laughs> Te Tiago, I'm calling him Tiago. I've forgotten his last name. Um, Tiago, and some of the touches, Tiago and Isco, some of the touches and passes they make are just like sublime. They're so, they're so sweet, they're so nice to watch. And yeah, unfortunately, none of that really paid off. Um, they would pass it about for about a minute, a minute and a half. Then when they did break forward, the chance didn't really come to anything, so and I, I know they they would be the most frustrating team to ever play against because you cannot get the ball off them. They don't seem to panic at all. They seem to just be cool and they know what they're doing. Ten, ten, ten seconds before they get the ball, they know what they're doing. But it was Ronaldo, the man himself, to get a, to go forward, win a free kick at the edge of the box against PK, but 20, 25, 20 yards out, twenty yards out, twenty two yards out. And the commentator actually said it's too close to the net to get it over the wall. And it's like, no, it wasn't. I remember in Premier League a few seasons ago, Johan Kabai, 19 yards out, chipped it over the wall. So, I mean, Ronaldo's a bit better than Kabai. So, Ronaldo, his 45th free kick to take in major tournaments internationally. And 45th time lucky. He banged that one in top bins, got his hat trick, got his 51st hat trick of his whole career, got the World Cup's 51st hat trick of its history. Like, how crazy is that? 51 hat tricks for Ronaldo. 
That is 153 goals from hat tricks. That is just crazy. That that is that's on another level. That is insane. And yeah, Ronaldo proved. I mean, he doubled his World Cup tally just in this one game. He hadn't scored in Spain before, but he scored a hat trick, doubled his tally. In fact, his last three goals were against Iran, North Korea, and Ghana. Not exactly world beaters, are they? But he proved it in this game, 3-3. And yeah, the final whistle went. And that was some game. That is the World Cup here. Obviously, Russia beating Saudi Arabia 5-0 wasn't... It was a good game for kind of if you like the goals, but it wasn't a good matched game. Morocco-Iran, know the best. I didn't actually get to see the Uruguay-Egypt game, so that might have been a good game, but only 1-0. But Portugal-Spain definitely set the standard high. If other teams can match that, then it would be a great tournament. So leave down below what you think of the game. If you do want more of these videos, please do leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Bye.